Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue. Welcome back to American Truck Sim. Today, I'm checking out some new mods. It's freaking snowing everywhere. Uh, we got the new Frosty mod, which is really cool to, to get some ice road trucking in. Uh, we're also rocking the John and Ruta truck with some Z mods. We'll talk more about that as we get driving. But today, we'll be driving from Grangeville, uh, Idaho, down to Nampa, Idaho, which is all Again, within the state of Idaho, it's a pretty short drive, uh, but it could be pretty tricky uh, in the horrible snow uh, conditions. We'll be pulling a pretty heavy uh, tractor as well. So let's go pick up our load and we'll get started. All right, we're in a cab. Let's go ahead, truck's already on. We'll release the parking brake. In the first, make sure track IR is working and there's no traffic behind us. There we go. All right. All right, let's go pick up our road, our load. As I said, uh, we are in Grangeville, Idaho, all the way to the north. And we're rocking the Freightliner Freight Shaker uh, XL Classic by John Ruta with uh, the Z Mods. I believe it's the uh, Cummings Bitcam sound pack. We got the 475 horsepower engine in here. And we're looking pretty good. You see, we're pretty speeding. It's uh, 8.43 in the morning on uh, Tuesday, in-game, and uh, yeah, so this, uh oh this snow is going to really possibly throw us for the curveball. I don't know if the snow is going to stop. It, it could stop at some point, you know, it's kind of just like the rain, uh, it's a probability, you know, it's a, a chance. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. Gonna do my best not to grind too many gears in today's drive. Again, pretty short drive. But it could be tricky as we drive through the uh, through the mountains. As you can already see, visibility is not great out the front windshield. But, you know, Spider-Man's gonna protect us. Alright, stop sign, stop sign. <laughs> okay, we're gonna roll that one. I think we're good. It's so hard to actually get stopped. And this is our turn right here. So basically, we're picking up a, uh, a heavy crawler tractor uh, from this farm here. And from what I understand, from what I heard from dispatch, apparently there is some type of mechanical failure with it. And uh, we need to take it uh, to get it fixed. I guess that's not it over there. You have arrived at your destination. Your rap guidance is now finished. And we'll stop right there, set the brake, and pick up our load. Alright, this is us right here. Crawler tractor, 55,000 pounds from Grangeville down to Nampa, Idaho. Alright, and here comes my first opportunity to show you my driving skills. If there are any. <laughs> uh, there she is right there. You know, if it was a nice clear day, I'm pretty sure that would be a pretty sweet looking trailer. Alright, I feel like I should be pretty good at this by now. I already went wide. Very wide. Let's stop and pull back around. We'll turn our mirrors on. That'll help us out. Brian the mark already. That should be right on it. Drive safe. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lock her in. Alright, we're ready to go, guys. 
Uh, we will need to make a fuel stop. Uh, we're basically driving in the middle of nowhere. So we're definitely going to probably get some fuel before we leave town. Let me take a look at the map. We'll plot our escape. So there's one gas station leaving Grangeville here, but it's kind of out of the way. Um, but it might be worth it because after that, we don't have any fuel stops until we get to where we're going. So, yeah, that's going to be the best way to go. So we'll make that fuel stop. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. Going to be a right turn here. We do have to be careful because with the snow and the snowstorm comes low visibility and icy road physics. So we definitely got to be careful. Stopping this baby is not going to be easy. It's going to be like stopping a freight train. We're going to have to stop way ahead of time. And it looks like we're going to make a right turn. I love the sound of that gravel. Interestingly enough, I haven't seen not one bit of traffic so far which kind of worries me hopefully nothing broke since i last played ats i'm gonna swing nice and wide here make this turn oh man we got a heavy load today yep we got we cleared it it's a good thing no traffic was there because we would have hit them all right, speed limit is 25 on this particular road. We have about uh, about a quarter tank of gas, so I think it is going to be important for us to stop and uh, get that gas to that gas station because that will be our last chance to get fuel before we head out. Heading into the city of Grangeville, I've actually personally never heard of it. Oh, okay, we did not get caught for speeding. Oh, come on, baby. Okay, he turned green just in time. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, it's so difficult. You guys are going to be watching me throughout this video. Probably struggle to catch the gears, to, to find the gears, and to get stopped. Because um, visibility is so low, you can't really even see the lights until you get right on top of them. And it's very difficult to get stopped. Uh, the most effective way, we passed by a Walmart. The most effective way that I've found so far... Uh, of stopping is is actually not the brakes themselves and not even the J brake which does sound amazing um, but actually downshifting and allowing the uh, I guess kind of like the engine brake to kind of take care of that so I'm gonna make a right turn here the GPS is actually completely wrong right now we want to take a right I'm gonna go into this uh, gas station here and it will head south down to uh, Napa and Napa is actually just to the west um, they're very close to Boise, Idaho, if you're familiar with that area. I just have to yield. No cars coming. I guess everybody's at work this morning. And we got to swing very wide to get in here like we want to. We'll jump the curb. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're a big truck. We can do that. And then we have to swing very wide to get in here. This is going to be kind of tricky for me to get the whole trailer in here. Hopefully we can pull it off. If not, I might have to back out of here. Ah, we might actually make it. Cool. So we'll go ahead and fuel up here at, uh, what is this? Texaco? I can dig that. <laughs> we'll shut the engine off. All right, fuel tank is full. It's going to cost us about $741. Uh, for that, let's go ahead and turn the engines back on. Park and break off, and see if we can squeeze out of here. Yep, $700 out of the bank. That's okay. We'll make that back. Uh, we're supposed to, as long as I don't crash, or, uh, you know, you know, the many things that could go wrong. As long as we make it there safely and on time, uh, we should make, I think, about $100,000 on this one short delivery. Which is pretty sweet for how short it is. Oops, missed a gear. We might pay for the transmission with all that though. Alright, up to fourth in the fifth. And I think we'll be leaving the town now. Oh, speed limit is 35, uh, 25 on this curb. And as I mentioned earlier, I cannot stress physics enough. Uh, not only is it very difficult to stop. Uh, but if you take turns too fast turning, uh, you'll lose traction in the front wheels. 
and go into basically an uncontrollable slide into whatever is next to you. So uh, these next, I think this next stretch is going to be kind of windy. So we got to watch out, even though people may say 65, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we could take 65 in the snow. Uh, the speed limits have not been adjusted for winter time. These are the default speed limits, so it's gonna be it'll be interesting as we drive down 95. You can see my truck already has a little bit of damage, but I think we're all right. It should be fun. It should be a pretty good drive. I'm hoping the snow will actually let up a little bit, so we can actually kind of see some of the snowy textures on uh, outside. But look at that! I love how the trees look in the distance, kind of like through the through that haze. And yeah, right now, it's actually, I'm, I'm pedal to the floor right now, 1500 RPM in 7th low. And you can hear the RPM is dropping because we're climbing up this, this gradient, this mountain. 55 on this turn, which should be alright. I think it should be maybe not as bad as, as I'm saying it's going to be. But we do have to, to watch out and pay attention for not only traffic, for traffic lights, for up and down hills for uh, you know patches of ice things like that we gotta watch out for that we don't wanna lose control and lose our load back there this is a pretty cool area right here I like this this is cool I have going downhill now oh boy here we go here we go ah! <laughs> oh man that wasn't as bad as it could have been Wow, I should have gotten the Jake break a little early. We got a straight away for a little while now, but wow, that, yeah, okay, we didn't really damage ourselves too bad that much, but you, you see what I'm talking about. We weren't even going that fast. Uh-oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my god. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, we need to, okay. Is the trailer okay? Can we get out of here? Are we stuck? Do we need to call for a rotator? Oh, I think the truck is dead. Yeah, it's like fully red. Oh, visit service station immediately. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, back in the rocky section again. And uh, y'all thought I was kidding. Y'all thought I was playing around uh, when I said... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta really be careful on these turns. I, I really can't believe we crashed there. That was, yeah, I, I was unexpected. I was unexpected. Uh, you see, Spielman says 40 miles per hour going down this hill. I don't know what we were doing, but uh, I'm gonna actually try to pay attention to the to the street signs now, because um, that might be a good idea. So we'll definitely have some some great use of our of our Jake break in this in this route. Watch for rocks. Speed limit, I think it's at 35. We actually have a really tight turn. This is, I think, where we wrecked last time. We might still see our truck there. No, they cleared it up. Wow, this is real tight. Real tight. Just riding the Jake brake. Go down to six. Oh, yeah, that sounds nice. We have a little bit of a straightaway here. Wow, I'm just, I'm still mind blown that we we wrecked. Like you saw, I tried to turn and just right into a wall. Uh, also, always watch for ice on these bridges. We can go a little bit fast when we go straight, but once we get to these turns, we gotta slow down. Again, we have about 45,000 pounds of tractor and trailer behind us. So even if we get on the brakes, the weight of that is still gonna push us forward. Wow, I'm still just <laughs> mind blown right now, but yeah, we'll try to make it there as best we can. Again, it's not gonna be a long trip. Chose a bit of a shorter trip, should be good. 45 around these curves. We're already at 45, but even though it says 45, doesn't necessarily mean that 45 is actually going to be safe for us. Again, these are the default posted speed limits. You know, assuming that you're not driving in the snow. And 
visibility is not great either. So say a car, you know, happens to be in front of us, or maybe there's like a road construction or something like that. We won't be able to see that until last minute, so we got to be really careful. Uh, looks like this section we may be safe. We had a uh, 50 mile per hour sign there, so we'll go ahead and go up in the seventh low. Put some distance behind us. But man, it's definitely been a long time coming, guys. It's been one to make some trucking sim videos. Uh, I do plan, depending on how this one goes, <laughs> uh, plan to do some more in the future. So definitely let me know, please, in the comments uh, how you feel, what you like. You know, if you have any suggestions, uh, mod suggestions or route suggestions, things like that. Uh, definitely let me know. barely made that one I really did put I put break in and everything got the fifth this is a pretty fun little challenging road like I'm I'm not just playing around right now like I'm really trying to get here <laughs> like I did not realize when I chose this route how difficult and challenging it was gonna be uh, we're driving with the Thrustmaster T150 uh, wheel it does have force feedback. Uh, you may actually hear it as I turn it sometimes. It's, uh, it's pretty old, honestly. I've had this. It's actually the first and only wheel I've ever owned. Bought it a long time ago when I first got into iRacing. Is that our turn? Nope. It's our turn right here. We'll skip the stop sign. The road seems to be clear. Nice little town here. It's pretty cool. Make sure we do not forget that we do have a trailer on the back, so we gotta make sure we swing it wide at every uh, turn like that. But but yeah, I had this wheel for a long time. Um, what I do have that's sort of new-ish, I've had it for probably a year at least now, is my um, shifter here, as well as my pedals, which you can't see on the camera, sadly, but I have a... Uh, I think it's the, uh, I'll put the link in the description of what the pedals I'm using, uh, but it's the three, it has a gas, a brake, and a clutch pedal, and the pedals I had before, go down to fifth gear, um, did not have that, so it's really cool, I love being able to actually use a clutch, it's funny because before using this setup, before getting these pedals, I had never driven stick shift right I, I mean well, I can't say that I've driven stick shift once uh, I think my dad was teaching me in in our old car but that was like freaking you know forever ago I have I don't remember any of that uh, so now I kind of wonder like huh I wonder if I could you know get in a, a manual gear car and, and actually not you know completely destroy the transmission you know what I mean <laughs> so definitely wondered about that look at this I love this section here we go through the just two lanes going uphill is really pushing the engine really pushing the engine yeah I'm just loving all these kind of s turn these are the kind of roads that I love driving on in real life maybe not so much in the snow I don't know how well I would do in real life in the snow like I always had like kind of like this thing I'll, I want to go to Colorado or somewhere that has like you know skiing and snowboarding in the winter but I'm also kind of afraid to go there in the snow because I've never driven in the snow like I live in Texas we don't get snow except for that one year <laughs> which was weird the whole friggin city shut down because we're not we're not built to have snow that's not what we're built for we're built for heat and hurricanes not even that hurricanes kill us but still point is I would love to go. Um, I still want to go. I'm not gonna not. I'm not gonna not go because I don't know how to drive in the snow. I could always get someone else to drive or an Uber or something like that. But um, it is definitely a skill that I do need to learn uh, so that I can, you know, have that ability. But I love driving through areas and mountainous areas where it's like a lot of. Oh, we gotta stop! Oh my God! Oh, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, is it dead? Is it dead? 
How bad is it? Alright, we're only two hours away. Take the stop sign out. Nope. Stop sign survived. Alright, hopefully the, the truck is in good enough shape to continue. There are no there's, there's literally nothing. There's no gas stations, no service stations. There are a couple places to sleep. Um, but that's about it on our route today, so we have to make it all the way there. If not, if we have to get towed again, uh we're gonna end up somewhere far, far away that we don't wanna be. But man, I was not expecting that turn to come up like that. Like, I, I saw it on the map, but for whatever reason... Uh-oh, we just lost the engine. There we go. Uh, for some reason, um, I don't know, I just I just didn't process it. That it was going to be like a stop and go kind of thing. There's a nice little viewpoint over there on the right. We'll skip it for today. We've had enough action, I think, for one, one drive. Please call truck care. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. I think one good positive is that uh, there shouldn't be any uh, way stations. Because if we went through a way station with this much damage... Oh, <laughs> speaking of damage. Uh, with this much damage, uh, we would definitely get fined for that. So we're definitely going to have to come out of pocket when we get to the our destination, when we get back to the shop. Um, to fix things up. One thing I wish they did have is it'd be cool if they added a damage model to uh, ATS. There's a couple of things. There's a lot of things. You guys know how it is. Anytime I'm playing any game, I always have so many ideas of things that they could do differently and do better. And one of those things is a damage model. A uh, damage model and also dirt. Like, one thing that bothers me about American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim is the fact they're just too darn clean too darn clean uh, every truck well the majority of trucks that I see oh we got to slow down a lot for this oh man we are going down downhill let's focus here let's pay attention uh, but yeah they're dirty every truck I see in real life most of them are dirty you know they're work trucks like they they're they're meant to be you know <laughs> driven to be worked on so I don't know yeah I just think they're just too clean it'd be nice that they added something like that or even a mod I haven't uh, and there's <laughs> how's the engine malfunction but the jake brake still works that doesn't make any sense right, we do have a stop an actual stop coming up so let's pay attention speed is going down too I'm already on the brakes already on the brakes just screaming into the city with the jake brake on we'll go down into six and down to fifth. And it should be a left turn. And we do have a stoplight. Oh, we're not stopping in time. Are we? There we go. I almost freaking broke the transmission trying to get the, the darn thing stopped in time. That's what I mean. Like, we didn't see that red light until, I mean, it was late, you know? Thankfully, I had track IR. I was able to look around the corner and see that we had a light coming. Or I wouldn't have saw it. Alright, we should be pretty much almost there. Yeah, we're driving through Ontario now. And about an hour, four minutes to go. <laughs> this engine is just... This engine, man, has had it. About an hour, four minutes to go in game time. So that's like no time. It's a few minutes out. Go straight on. Haven't even got on a... Uh, I haven't even used cruise control, like, at all. Oh, we have traffic. Oh, we got a, that is a stop sign. Please be green. Please be green. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Bruh, you guys have no idea how hard this is to stop this darn thing. My gosh. All right. Back up the first. Now look at this though, now that we have traffic in front of us, you can barely see the traffic because they're just kicking up so much snow. 
So much snow dust. So I don't know if it's be another traffic light, but we'll be on the lookout for that. It's so interesting, these little towns, man. And I'm not sure if any of you guys live in a town like that, where it's like the whole town has one traffic light. Like, I must feel it's like a whole different lifestyle, man. I've, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm basically from the big city. <laughs> I'm used to having everything here within, you know, five minutes away from your house. Healing is dropping again up here, 35. Right lane ends, we're clear on our left. Look at that, you can barely see those guys right there. You can barely see them. I believe we're we'll gonna be hopping on the highway up ahead. So we'll stay in the left lane. There might be a traffic light coming, so I must get on the brake early. Yeah, we're all right, they're just turning. So far, we haven't had a... The AI hasn't really killed us too much. But we also haven't been driving in too much of the city, but kind of in the middle of nowhere, so not many issues. And yes, that is a doctor show over there on the monitor. Watching Doctor House. Little cat. What? The headlight offense? They always just find something to find me for. Always something. Alright, looks clear to me. Alright, this should be, hopefully, the home stretch here. Yep, we're clear all the way around. Alright, 70 miles per hour. Again, we're, even though we're on the highway, we still gotta watch out. Uh, we got a bit more space, but yeah, you just gotta be careful not to run into that guardrail. Imagine though, imagine if, if you fused like like American Truck Sim and Beam and G or Wreckfest or you know one of those games that has an epic uh, crash model. Man, that'd be nuts. There would be I would have so many wreck trucks. Sometimes on purpose, you know, because <laughs> you know what's the damage model if you can't test it. Yep, Nampa is just to the right. We gotta go around. I think we'll be exiting. Yep, Nampa, next right. You can't even see that sign. This engine is doing her thing. I'll definitely get her fixed after the video. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, yeah, we learned our lesson for sure. Alright, and speaking of lessons, let's be careful here because we do have. An exit ramp that leads to what looks like a stop. Absolutely love that J brake. On the brakes hard now. We'll let go of that down to fifth. Got a red light down to four. Second, I guess. Still trying to stop. I told you guys how early I was braking. And we still just barely made it for this red light. Red light! But Oregon, y'all don't believe in right on red? Or Idaho? Y'all don't believe in right on red? I need like some kind of posting somewhere that says, hey, you cannot turn right on red. <laughs> I have a stoplight up here. I don't know if it's red or green. It's yellow. I, I, I saw that just in time. The Warhawk Museum to the left. So we've gotten charged a decent amount of money. Thankfully, we have a pretty big profit margin for this run. Expected to make a plus a hundred thousand dollars. So, you know, what's another ten thousand in in traffic fines and truck repairs? <laughs> the good news is we have not yet hit anyone, so we're not looking at a million dollar lawsuit for a specific person. All right, we should be almost there. Watch out for these signs. And it's red cheese. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, what is that? What does that mean? Oh, am I reverse? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that beeping sound? I was in reverse. All 
All right, there is Navo. You can see on our GPS, we are almost there. Matter of fact, we should be entering the city now. Oops, I tried to float the gear and failed. <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna have a couple thousand dollars in transmission repairs too when we get done with this. Ooh, look at this. This is cool. Oh, engine malfunction. Great. Damper. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, the whole thing turned off. Alright, let's uh, watch out for this next light. And we have a right turn immediately after. We're gonna have to go wide here, so I'm gonna take up both lanes. Pizza and pasta. Domino's. Wacky, inflatable, arm filling tube man. <laughs> heard of this town before to be honest neither of these towns oh what are you doing oh this is a one-way okay my bad oh that's too many gears find the gear if you can't find it grind it turn coming up pretty soon looks like a traffic light look at that you can't even see the car ahead of you it's just so much like snow that's why you gotta be careful driving through the city with this uh in these snowstorms One thing we didn't really um, we didn't really experience in this drive is a wheel slip because uh, you can get that too if your load is heavy enough and you're going like uphill, you know. But we had a little bit of uphill, but we had plenty of horsepower to get through it. We mainly had issues going downhill and getting stopped. Uh, sir, I'm, I'm gonna need that lane. Uh, I guess we can go over there after the light. Oh, it's green. Yeah, we're getting over. And the second light should be for us. Turn left. Almost there. There we go. Oh, man. Why do I put myself through this uh, stress? I'll tell you one thing, one of the favorite things I've gotten in my driving setup is a shifter. It's not like the big, you know, trucker shifter, which is fine with me because I do sim racing as well, but having that addition to my setup has made such a huge difference in when it comes to the uh, immersion factor of driving these games, especially trucking sim. I mean, because a lot of the race cars now are paddle shifters, so you don't really get that experience that much, even though it is pretty fun to do, uh, you know, the old NASCAR cars. All right, we're here. But, uh, yeah, I love having a shifter. I remember just when I first got it, trying to figure out how to drive with a stick, you know, it was a pretty fun experience just learning how to do it. But, all right, guys, we have arrived here at... The drop-off point here in Nampa. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. And where should we place it? I want it over there. Okay, I'll try. Usually, with this kind of track uh, load, they just say, hey, just come straight on in. Not today. I can see it over there. I have to loop back around. I have to go real wide. 
I wish there was a way to, to get that thing to turn off where you don't see that notification saying, hey, would you like to skip parking over and over? <laughs> like, no, I'm out here trying to do it, so let me do my thing. Alright, let's go nice and wide. Swing wide. That hopefully is enough. We will see. Yeah, that should be good right there. Bring it in. Oh, yeah. We own it. We own it. Come on, that's in there. That's freaking in there. That's in there, man. Are you serious? They didn't give it to me. They didn't give it to me. And you guys know it's like impossible to back this thing up. We are perfectly in there. Let's see if we can just reverse straight back. If we can get it to go straight back. Then it should be a winner. Come on. We are so we are so perfectly in there. I'll try it again. One more try, and we're done. You know what? We should have just left it where it was. I know, I know. If I don't get it this time, I'll let you park to park the truck. Okay. I'll let you park if I don't get it this time. I know, I know. You can shut up now. I will go just a tiny bit less wide this time, and hopefully that'll be okay. Nice and slow. Gonna go way over here. We'll bring it back this way. And that should be green. That should be. There it is! That's green. We're green, guys. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, driven distance only 216 miles. Uh, but we made $112,000 in profit after being deducted $6,000 in damage penalties. Yeah. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. Peace.